Hi, James Stafford here from Websites Made Easy. If you're looking for a very simple, straightforward solution on how to start a blog, or you're just simply frustrated with not knowing where to even begin to start building your blog, you're in the right place. Many blogs focus on a particular topic, such as web design, home improvement, sports, or weight loss. Some are more eclectic, presenting links to all types of other sites. And others are more like personal journals, presenting the author's daily life and thoughts. Blogs tend to have a few things in common a main content area with articles listed chronologically, newest on top. Often the articles are organized into categories. An archive of older articles, a way for people to leave comments about the articles. A list of links to other related sites, sometimes called a blog roll. One or more feeds like RSS, Atom, or RDF files. I'm going to walk you through how to start a blog in 10 minutes with a completely free platform known as WordPress. WordPress is a full-featured, fully customizable blog creation tool used by millions of people, businesses, and organizations around the world. WordPress is super easy to use, and just about anybody can have their first blog up in no time. There are tons of really cool features about WordPress to take advantage of. There are thousands of free themes to choose from to change the look and function of your blog. There are thousands of plugins available to customize your blog to your specific needs. You can build your blog from anywhere, no software is needed. There's additional education on YouTube that covers just about everything you can do with WordPress. WordPress is search engine friendly. The first thing we need to do to get started with your blog is set up your hosting. This is where you will pick the name of your new blog and where the blog and its contents will be hosted. This is really the only cost you will incur in this process and so cheap for the value you get. In my business over the last five years, I've always gone with HostGator hosting. I go with a baby plan, as you can build as many blogs or websites as you'd like for under $10 per month. This comes with 24-hour phone customer support, and when it comes to WordPress, these guys really know their stuff. Also, your blog will be backed up weekly, so they are in safe hands. Okay, so now we'll head over to HostGator to pick the name of your new blog, and I will show you how to set up your new blog with WordPress in 10 minutes. If you choose to use the link below this video, you will save 25% off your order with HostGator. Click the link below the video in the description area to arrive at HostGator to choose the name of your new blog. I will see you in a moment over at HostGator. Alright guys, this is James Stafford. I'm back. If you chose to click that link below the video, you should end up at this page right here, the home page of the website of HostGator.com. We're going to click this link right here in the middle of the page, uh, the View Web Hosting Plans. This will take us right here to the baby plan right in the middle of the page, uh, which you have unlimited domains which are basically uh, website names or blog names okay and this is for under ten dollars a month so it's great great value we're gonna click this where it says order here now or excuse me order now and what we're gonna do is choose the name of our blog I'm gonna choose uh, the Stafford blog I know this is available because I checked it earlier if for some reason it's not available, it's going to show you. It'll come back with an error code saying that this is a registered uh, domain. Go ahead to continue on to step two here. <clears throat> and we will just, we've all filled this online information out. I'm going to choose a username, uh, fill out my uh, payment details, and then I will be right back. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. Ultimately, what we're looking for here, or what we're going to accomplish, is once we create this account, we're going to be waiting for anywhere from five to ten minutes, uh, even sooner than that, from uh, an email from HostGator that will allow us to set up and move forward with um, setting up our, our blog. And in the next you know, ten minutes, I'm going to show you how to set that up so you'll have your little place online. All right, I will be back in a moment. Alright guys, I've filled out my details here. I'm going to go ahead and click create account. And what we're waiting for is our confirmation email. Alright guys, here's our confirmation page. Thank you James Stafford. An email will be sent shortly to your email address uh, with the, you know, the details to set up uh, your, uh, your website or blog. So what we're doing is waiting on the um, email and once I get that, I will resume the video. Okay guys, I'm back. 
I have received the email from HostGator. It came from sales at HostGator.com. What we're looking for here is a link to access the cPanel. The cPanel is where we will be able to use the software to install, install our blog. All right, so what we're going to do here is they've given us a username to log into the cPanel along with a password. So copy the password and just take note of the, the username. Click the link to access the cPanel. Very easy. Go ahead and put your username in there, password, and then log in. Okay, now we're inside the cPanel. Do not let this overwhelm you. This is just various tools to use to uh, uh, do different things with your hosting account. At this time, all we have to be concerned with is one thing. If you sc scroll down here and you look under software and services, and you're just all you're looking for is this uh, program here called Fantastico Deluxe. It's that simple. I think this is about the only thing I've used in the last five years um, inside the cPanel, maybe the email tool, and that's it. So once we get here, um, you will see on the left hand uh, column here, it says blogs. We're looking for WordPress. So we click that. New installation, right over here to the right. You'll see the name of our uh, uh, the blog here, my blog, the staffordblog.com. Um, this is the admin access. This is where we will log into the WordPress site. So just go, I always put admin and just pick a password that you'll remember. And then, um, you know, put an email address in here that, you know, that is a good email address that you can access. This is if you uh, need to change your password or anything like that, they can send you that information. And then just name the blog um, whatever you like. You can always change this inside WordPress and then install WordPress. That's it. Finish installation. Click this. And once you get this is the link to the site, the, uh, the WP admin. So click this. This is where we'll log in. Okay, and now it was admin and then it was and we were about to log into our site, our new site here. Perfect. The Stafford blog. Now this is the, da the WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to make all your edits to your blog. Okay, and don't let this overwhelm you. This is so straightforward. It's very easy to do and navigate. Um, all your navigation basically is over here to the left. I always like to go um, to the settings at first and under general this will give us a, a kind of a broad overview of what's going on. Um, right here is where we've named the, the blog. You can change this. This is um, the domain name. Okay. Uh, the email address. Everything looks good in here. Um, we can update it too. I like to do this just to get a, the, the, the latest copy of WordPress that's available. You can update this. And then just update now. Okay, perfect. And then I like to go over to, um, let's see, settings, let's see, reading. Actually, let's go to appearance and themes. This is really, it's really cool because you can change the, really the look and feel and ultimately the function of the site um, if you click on install themes. Um, and you can really kind of drill down here to the specifics of what you're trying to accomplish. One left uh, sidebar, two left sidebars. The color, um, all sorts of plugins, etc. Uh, I like to go. You can search, um, and let's try to search for clean. You can pick any fun, anything really that have these keywords in it that might uh, pull up um, different uh, themes that we can use. So let's see here. There's one down. Clean, simple, white. Not nothing too fun. This might be all right. Let's see what this looks like. Pre, we can preview it. Okay, let's close that. Um, that's kind of fun for. Let's see. Maybe this right here. This might give us a, a good idea. Let's install this one. 
go ahead and activate it. That's it. And this is going to change really the feel and overall look of the site. So if you go back here, the Stafford blog, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? So here's your blog. All right, so and I'm going to make a couple edits here. I have a couple of articles that I want to add. And let's see, if we go back, and all we do is need to go back right here. And I'm going to go and add a new post. We'll just add, and let me dismiss this. Posts, add new. And I have an article right here. I have some, some marketing articles that I'm going to use with this site. Let's see here. All right. Let's go ahead and just copy this straight from the Word document. Okay. And we get the title in right here. And we can put a category for here, uh, add a new category, and I'll put in um, marketing. This white keeps everything um, nice and organized. Okay, and we will go ahead and publish this. And we can take a look. You can always do, um, if you go up here and you right click where it says the Stafford blog and open link in new tab, this way you can see. Um, you can still make your edits, but see what it looks like. And there you go. This is the first uh, post. So each, the idea is that each time that you make a new post, that's going to be your freshest content. Okay, for your blog. All right, and I'm not sure why this date here is. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're good. There's our, our first post. Pretty cool stuff. Our recent post right here, recent comments, and we can erase some of that. I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, tweaks that I do uh, right here. Like if you look, let's see. Let's click on this, and I'll show you. Okay, I clicked that link, and this is actually going to take us to this specific post. Now, if you look up here in the uh, where the domain is in the URL, you're going to see the staffordblog.com forward slash question mark p equals six. That we don't want that. We want to clean that up. Okay, and that's very easy to do. We want that to be the name of the page. Okay, or the post. Excuse me, and that that'll do it for the page as well. So. The way to fix that, and you'll even see it right here, change permalinks. What we're going to do is go to uh, settings and then go to permalinks. Okay, and then what we're going to do is change it to, um, where was it? Post name. And that's it. And save changes. And we should be good to go. If we go into widgets, this this is really kind of cool because you can make some cool customizations in here uh, to the site. If you look at the site here, we have recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, uh, metadata. We can go into widgets and we can go ahead and say we want to put in a calendar. We can put this in this sidebar right, which we'll see here. And now, if we go back here, take a look at this. There's a calendar. You can remove stuff here, which is neat. You can remove anything that you want. Say so we want to remove the data, take that out. Just basically pull it out and drag it over, and then it'll be gone. Let's see, and then we can see it was the meta was right there. Now it's gone. So you get the idea. And I'm going to show you how to add a picture real quick. Uh, let's go back to all posts. Um, let's go to this first one. Let's just edit a post. See, we'll all see all our posts here. Okay, we can edit this one, and let's just add an image in here real quick. And basically, you just put the cursor where you want the image. Add media. This little camera right here. So select files, 
just this is something straight off my desktop just open that okay and we want to enter uh, alignment I'll put none because we have the cursor where I wanted it with full size insert into posts okay and let's do update let's see There you go. Pretty cool stuff. Super easy, super fun to do. Uh, completely customizable. Like I said, there's thousands of themes you can even do. A, a, you know, free WordPress theme search plugins, widgets. Uh, there's so much at your disposal. Um, if you go to YouTube, there's more, and I even have some more videos online that uh, can step you through uh, more education uh, to really get informed on how WordPress works and just you know really the ins and outs of uh, the platform so it's a great free tool I, I, I cannot recommend WordPress enough um, and uh, yeah if you have any questions feel free to um, leave some comments on the video and I'll be more than happy to respond to that I hope you guys have found value and learned something from this and you know and can get your little place online and, and have fun so um, take care, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.